Singapore has to find a balance between redevelopment and preserving its heritage as it progresses, says Acting Social Development Minister Chan Chun Singh. He says the country's very first satellite town is an example of an area where this has been achieved. This is Queenstown, home to many of Singapore's first, including the country's first sports complex and housing and development board block. Residents and visitors can learn more about the rich history of Queenstown from an existing heritage trail. And now it'll be easier with help from a free mobile app launched today. The app was developed by the Queenstown community itself. Well, if you're like me and enjoy exploring a place at your own pace, then the My Queenstown mobile app actually does come in quite handy. And even if you miss out on a place of interest, not to worry, because the app will send a notification to tell you to stop and take a look around. The app suggests five heritage tours that cover places of worship or other landmarks in the area. It's a welcome resource for those living in Queenstown. Uh, the Queenstown former polyclinic, uh, because the previous time that was the polyclinic for the others, uh, and now, now they are building for the conductors. We're still young when uh, the buildings are still around, so we still need to demolish. So uh, with the app, I can find more about the history, like the Commonwealth Market and the bowling alley itself, which I do not have a get a chance to actually visit when they are still in operation. But as Singapore progresses, a balance will need to be reached. Mr Chan, who is also a grassroots advisor for Tanjong Paga GRC, said redevelopment and preservation are not mutually exclusive issues. Every one of us, individually, as a community and as a society, has to find that balance between preserving what we hold dear to us and yet at the same time uh, giving up some of the things for development for the future generation. Because if the previous generation has done what they have done, which is to give up some of their memories for us to be where we are today, then I think it's also incumbent upon us to pay it forward at the same time. And the responsibility, he said, falls on both the government and the community.